hello this is Frida welcome to my channel for today's uh, video tutorial I'm going to talk about top-down sweaters cardigans uh, mostly I knit shrugs bridal shrugs and cardigans uh, and if I, I start with uh, a bolera a shrug if I have enough yarn I turn it into a cardigan and mostly uh, uh, on my um, Etsy shop, I do get custom uh, bridal shrugs, which I did. Just to point out, this uh, video is for um, Beji. I think her name was Beji Craig. She lives in Denmark on my um, uh, live stream. She asked if I can do a video, a top-down video for uh, extra small. She's an extra small size. Okay, so I do have a couple of uh, tutorials, and but I'm just going to give you the numbers. Uh, I think your, your name was Beiji. I, I haven't memorized it, but um, yeah. You said you were extra large. Okay, it depends on if you want to make a v-neck. Okay, and I do have tutorials. I will try to put the links below, or you can go to my video and then type down top down or princess. A shrug I think I wrote down and um, yeah okay for um, and uh, I do have a tutorial on how to knit this I start with uh, casting on six or eight chain and I start doing half and I pick up stitches and I do the half and I just love 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 this method so I don't have to go back and pick up stitches to finish the shrug this way, when I'm finished, I'm finished. And I do my um, cardigans, my shrugs, since 2016, I believe. Seamless. No sewing involved. So I really like that method. But that takes me more time to create, to knit it up. Just to point out. Okay, so I'm going to give you some numbers. And... Um, here it is. Okay. For um okay, the yarn, this yarn will work with uh, Angora Rabbit yarn, pure Angora Rabbit yarn, or this yarn that I bought. This yarn I bought it from Ebru. I will put her link below. And then she mixed it this just to show you. This is how it looks like. It's a giant cake. So it, it's like 400 gram and then I joined it with a single single uh, eyelash yarn I used to buy them uh, like a brand name and that I don't want to pay for brand name so I'm buying these from Kona it comes for a reasonable price and what I did is I added pure merino wool this is so soft so one strand of this i added this as you can see how fluffy it is it looks like angora rabbit yarn I knit with angora rabbit but it's not so this is how it looks like and i do have kid mohair two uh two um, strands of kid mohair here these are kid mohair so two of this and two of the eyelash and one of the merino wool to give this off-white color this is how I created okay the this yarn I bought it from Gocheri Blick I will put the links below again well no I did not buy it actually <laughs> she she sent me two cakes as a gift okay like this she sent me two cakes and I started I finished up one cake and I just uh, knotted the second. Here is my knot. So I will try to weave this. Yeah, but you know, it will disappear because it is pretty fluffy. Okay, and uh, I was I bought more yarn from her and I forgot to ask her to add these. And then she said, no, I will gift it to you. So these are all gift and I do have my yarn unboxing. Okay, you can go and check it out. So what she did is she added two strands three i'm sorry three strands of this and she added one strand of this yarn 
to create this lovely look. You can play around with it. You can create your own yarn if you don't have it. Because uh, these yarns are really tough to find. But I'm sure you can find them in your area. Okay, so, or if you need yarn, just message me. I will hook you up. <laughs> okay, so, this is a crew neck. This is a V-neck. Oh, you can't even see. Look how the camera's... Here. <laughs> it's way better. That's a V-neck. Isn't this odd? Look, just uh, this color just... Uh... <laughs> okay. For uh, for Meiji, here is uh, what you need to do. You need to cast on. If you are going to be doing a crew neck, okay, that's a different story. I start from the top down, and a crew neck. Here it is. So sixteen for the back, and there's one stitches on the corners that you do. We do our increase, and I do have several tutorials. On how to start it and then 10 for the front 7 for the shoulder and 16 for the back so it's a total of 54 this is for extra small you can uh, if you are extra extra small if you are extra small if you are a small size this is what you need and what you do is you continue knitting until 7 inches but don't forget, I do my short rows, and I do have a tutorial for that. I will uh, put the link below, or um, uh, I can only add two videos at the end of the, this video. What you do is you click it, or uh, what you can do is you can go into my videos and try to type down short row and uh, pink shrug. I did a pink, I believe it was a pink shrug. I did a tutorial okay so what i did on this one i know it's really tough for you to see instead of doing one stitch and then doing increases on the two sides what i did is i did two stitches here you can see it yeah it is uh, clear enough that you can see it see two stitches here two stitches the back you can't see anything but two you can see the two stitches on this one because it is a two extra large uh, I only worked with one so I did one stitch I did one increase from the front uh, begin uh, just before the stitch and one stitch on this so I will show you how to do that but um, other than that you just here I don't do my button uh, holes because uh, you know with the buttons it's really hard to button up on a a shrug like this because it's, it's so fluffy but on this one I did I'm gonna put big buttons just to try it out and see so uh, this is for uh, ex like I said extra small x x small x x small and small sizes the numbers that I gave you and if you want to do it this style what you do is you knit you knit the rib this rib this rib back and forth uh, about 20 rows well no no not 20 rows what you do is you knit you knit enough uh, st rows to pick up 39 stitches and uh, 39 stitches that's what you need to do and then you start your increases because it's a v-neck just to show you let me just show it to you Okay, so here is my, where's the other side of this? Here. I put markers because it is really difficult to see. It's eight stitches I started because it's being a plus size. If you're a small size, I would recommend a six stitch would be enough. Two, four, six, eight. Here, here's my marker. Let me just pull it up. Well, the reason I didn't move it because I just needed two more stitches than two more inches than I'm going to be dividing the body parts. And I do have a tutorial for that as well. Okay. Uh, just to show you. Let me just grab. 
grab the I'm using circular needles it's I've been using circular needles since 2009 and uh, I like it I use it for everything even if I need to uh, knit a dish cloth I'm using circular needles yeah believe it or not that's how I'm used to it okay so let's say you are doing the ri rib two four six one more okay I'm going to knit this stitch and I'm going to do my increase because uh, it's a v-neck and I do my increases until I divide my body parts then I stop doing my increases okay this is how I do my increase and I just knit all the way until I come where the marker is and I will show you how to do the increases again for um, for extra small XX small I knit about six and a half inches long before I divide my body parts if I'm knitting for a small size I knit about seven inches not even seven like you measure it and you will see the difference let me just show you and where I measure is I don't measure it from the back because uh, when I I do uh, short rows and the back is always high compared to the front so I measure it from the front okay I'm almost there I just want to show you how to do the increase just to give you an idea again this is a review I'm not doing the whole tutorial because I do have several tutorials just giving you all the information you need okay so here is my uh, one stitch so I knit this one and I do an increase on this one just before that first that stitch that we knit and then I knit this one and then I make an increase on this stitch so this is where I marked it okay and I just continue knitting okay so let's say you're you are an extra small okay okay just just gonna grab my measuring tape okay so what I do is I measure it from here so if you are if you are uh, extra small x x small so six and a half this is where you would divide your body parts if you are a small size here just just before the seven or seven and another thing you can be a small size but you can be your body can be um see like the sizes are ch changes right so you need to have your measurement as well that's another thing so for a small size this is where I measure it and divide the body parts but again I measure it from here and I come all the way here and then you should be as between eight eight see so to be an eight you come here and measure it from here where where we do our increase that's how you measure it so the around it should be 36 36 and less is for a small size inches so I am doing for a 2x so when I measure it here see I just need a little bit more to knit nine inches then I will divide my body parts and I when I measure it from here 11 see 11 so I need to do more increases until I'm uh, 12 I need 12 12 is one side 12 is the other side so that's about 12 12 is about 24 for a front that's how you can do your measurements by this don't measure it from the back because the back is going to be high due to our short rows see how long long it is like so just give you an idea here 
See, when you measure it like this, this is already over 10 inches, see? But when I'm measuring it from here, see, there's uh, two different, two inches different, as you can see. So the back, because I did short rows, it's higher. The reason I'm doing the short rows is that when you put it on, it feels more comfortable. Okay, so I'm going to show you a different I started. I even have a tutorial on how to do these stitches. <laughs> okay, so I started this. And this is how it looks like. See, maybe you will get the idea. See how the short rows gives it high? See, the length is same. When you look at it here, here the back and the front is same because I did the short rows. See how it looks like? And when you wear it, it will be more comfortable. Okay, so uh, the uh, the numbers that I gave you was for uh, extra small, small, XX small. So let's come to the medium size. Okay, my um, this isn't dirty. It's just the uh, the ink. Got smooshed everywhere. You can see here. Okay, so for a medium, for a v-neck, what I did is I cast on 50. Well, uh, you need to knit the rib and then pick up, like the rib, I mean, knit one pearl, knit one, one pearl, and then you need to pick up 50 stitches. And this is how you divide the body parts. Um, for the small size, I didn't, on the v-neck, I didn't, uh, I, on, um, uh, what you call it, you know, the more you knit, the, the creative you become, and then you, you know, you find a te technique. So here, what I did is, I did not start with the three, three stitches here. Uh, so what I did is I picked up. So don't pick up three stitches for the front. Pick up uh, oh, ten. So just ignore these. So get rid of the six. So you need to cast on about um, 40, 44 stitches. Don't. Then when you increase, you will give this. It will give this nice V look. Because uh, on my previous, I don't have a. Sh uh, shrug to show you because uh, uh, I sell them and then I ship them right away I knit them and I ship them so I don't I only have these that I'm working on so um, I don't do the three stitches what I do is I do my increase and then I continue on I hope it, uh, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say <laughs> so uh, instead of uh, doing 50 Stitches, picking up 50 stitches, pick up 46. So get rid of these, uh, delete these three stitches. Don't. So when you do your increases, you will continue. And then it gives you this nice V. That's what I'm trying to say. If I do my three stitches, I notice that it gets a bit bulky. Bulky, and we don't want this. Okay, this is for a V-neck, though. Okay, for a crew neck, what you need to do is... For a crew neck, you need to add, uh, and again, I work with measurements, and everyone's measurements is different. So if you're working on a crew neck, what you can do is you can add 10, 10 stitches at the front, or what you can do is um, 10, 10, 20, maybe 25 total at the front. And don't forget the rib. You need to uh, knit the rib like this just to show you. Looks way better on the the burgundy. It's hard for you to see, but on this one, you you get the idea, right? First, I knitted this uh, this part, the collar area, and then I started knitting the increases. And I did after that, I started the knitting the the short rows. So knit as uh, if you're doing a crew neck, and then add these uh, stitches as well if you're doing one knit one pearl on this one I just did knit knit on two sides to give this uh, pearl stitch look you can add that okay so let's come for a large size if you are knitting a v-neck 
again don't add these four so 63 I wrote down so get away the eight so 55 you need to cast on 55 stitches no not 55 I'm sorry you need to knit the rib as long as you need and then pick up 55 stitches on the side and again I do have a tutorial and uh, I will put the link below or you know just to give you an idea or you can go to my videos again and then um, search it up okay it's so easy and it just fits perfectly and again these are seamless I do it around and around the sleeves and uh, no sewing involved and I do show you how not how not to have the underarm a hole pick up stitches okay here what I did is I wrote down um, how many uh, I do my increases on my sleeves so I totally I got two two I got rid of two two so I got rid of 16 and I did it every uh, 10 rows I knitted and I got rid of two stitches I wrote knit 10 rows and I got rid of uh, two stitches so 16 and then when I'm coming to the wrist area where I'm going to be uh, knitting the rib I got rid of uh, 11 stitches so a total of uh, 35 stitches I got I got rid of for uh, for this is for a medium size and I use 210 gram of Angora rabbit yarn just to give you and here's a, someone else's measurements. I guess I wrote down here. I cast on for a crew neck. I cast on uh, 80 stitches just to show you. So it's around between 90 to 80 stitches. It depends on the size again. Okay. Uh, and this is how I did again 10 rows. Every 10 rows, I do a decrease. On the sleeves and uh, yeah okay for a medium size I knit about eight inches when you're measuring from here like from here I measure I still have I only finished one skein for this so I'm going to be adding so uh, this would be perfect for a small size for a small size I can just divide the body parts, small size, extra small, XX small, it would fit perfectly. And uh, what I do is uh, I divide the body parts and I continue knitting. But uh, I'm going to be, I'm planning to knit this for myself. We'll see. So I need to knit a total of nine rows from here. Again, I'm not, I'm not measuring from the back because of the short row. So I still have to knit about three, three, four more rows. As you can see, for a medium size, seven, uh, eight in uh, seven, seven and a half, I knit, and then for a large size, eight to eight and a half. Okay, so I hope you like all this information that I have provided. Happy knitting!